Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to use our Adobe Captivate scenario templates. Now, these would be the templates that you'd use with um, our Captivate 8 blank project or our Captivate 7 projects. Um, this is not the video for how to use scenarios in our Captivate 8 responsive projects. So this is um, if you were to go up to a new project and select blank from the top. This is for the blank projects. I have another tutorial video that shows you how to do the responsive project templates. Um, what I'd like to cover in this tutorial is first how to copy it into your existing project, um, how to update your buttons and program them to go to the appropriate slides. Um, next, I'll do the um, how to show you how to make additional slides or take slides away, and how to add your own color and change your um, how, how sorry how to add your own content and change your colors and branding and stuff. All right, so first thing we're going to do is copy this into a new project. So I've got my template opened up, and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just select each of the slides in this template that I want to bring into my new project. And for this example, I think I'll just take all of them. All right, and what I'm doing is just selecting them in the film strip mode, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let me get up here so you can see my, my screen. I'm going to right click on them and I'm just going to do a simple copy. Now I'm going to go into my, my actual project file. This might be your course that you've already started, um, or if you're starting a new one, it might just be a new, a new uh, project. All right, and wherever I want to insert these, I can just select on the slide, and then I'm going to right click and paste. And this is going to paste those slides right in after that slide that I have selected. And there we go, it brings in all my slides. And that's exactly what I wanted. So that's how you bring it into your, your existing project. Now let me show you how to program um, your buttons to go to the appropriate slides. So these scenario templates are really intended to, uh, for you to create your own branching scenarios. Uh, we have them pre-programmed to go to certain places, but you can change that programming very simple. Um, first thing you want to do is just select option one, and you want to go to your properties panel. If it's not open, just simply click the icon that says Properties. Depending on what version of Captivate you're in, that Properties icon might be in a different spot. Alternatively, you might be able to go up to Window and select Properties from there. Um, so just depending on what version of Captivate you have, um, that'll be where it's at. And the next thing you want to do is just make sure you select the Actions tab um, underneath the Properties panel. And then on Success, when, um, when I have this button highlighted, on Success, I can have a whole bunch of different commands that I can have it do. But what I want it to do is to jump to a specific slide. So you select the jump to slide, and then you just choose the slide that you want to jump to. Um, for this particular example, I want it to go to slide five, leave it there, and then you have a few different options on what you want it to do, how many times you want someone to be able to click. Um, I'm just gonna leave it on the default right now. I'll do the same thing for option two, do the jump to slide, and I want it to go to slide six, and that's already set for me. And that's perfect. So when I click on option number one, I told it to go to slide number five. So I come down here, and this is where my remediation text would be, or um, continuing my branching scenario, whatever text I want to put here, um, I, I could do so. And then I have a continue button, and I do the exact same thing. I can tell it to jump to slide, and then I can tell it which slide I want to go to next if, if you just choose to go down this path. And what I'm going to have it do is actually jump past slide six and go right to slide seven, where I have the next scenario, um, option one and two. Um, so I'll leave it on slide seven. And then slide six was, if you remember, was my option two selection. I do the exact same thing here, jump to slide, and then I chose slide seven also, so that both of these slides go right back to the same spot, which is this guy in the office door. And then I can do the same thing for the next option one and option two buttons. So very simple to program these buttons and tell them where to go um, within your course. Um, if you wanted to add additional slides in here, very simple to do that also. Um, I recommend just using an existing slide that you, uh, that maybe you like where the text box is or the buttons. And if you like the kind of the way that this one is, you can just go uh, duplicate by right clicking on it and choosing the duplicate option and it makes an exact duplicate. And once you have that, you can easily come in here and you know, select the objects if you want. You could reposition it so it looks a little bit different. You know, maybe take this character out, 
Um, you might even want to just completely change the whole dynamics of the, the visuals anyway and just, you know, maybe it's a whole screen that you're going to have, you know, with this text box. And then you can reposition your, your buttons. And I'm just doing kind of a quick job here. But you can see you can easily rebuild this, uh, maybe in a different kind of look and feel so that it breaks up the, uh, the style for your learner. And then you can just come back in here and once again reprogram your buttons to jump to the appropriate slides that you want it to. Um, if you have too many slides and you decide, you know what, I don't need all those slides, no problem. Just come in here, right click on the one that you don't want, and then just go delete. Click OK. And just go ahead and just delete those ones that you don't want. Very simple to do. Um, so that's how you uh, how you you add and take away slides, and that's how you uh, program the buttons. Next, I'd like to show you how to update your own content into these slides. Um, once again, very simple. Just double click on any of the text elements and type in your text or copy and paste it from a storyboard if that's what you're doing. You can move the text anywhere you want. You can change the, uh, the size of it if, if needed. Make it bigger, smaller, whatever you need to do. Change the colors. Whatever, uh, whatever you need to do, you could add images in here if you like. Um, you can have full control over all the text and the content that you want to. If you want to make boxes bigger or smaller, um, no problem to do that as I showed you before. Um, if you want to change out your characters or you want additional characters of the same people, you can go out to the library, our e-learning template library, and download these exact same characters with different poses and emotions. Um, you can scale them down and crop them however you need to. Or if you just want to replace the characters all together and import your own, very simple to do that. All you want to do is just really just delete these guys out. And then you can just go into uh, media and image, and then just upload your own image right into it. All right, the next thing I want to do is show you how to change the branding, the colors. Very simple to do. All you need to do is just select any object on the stage that you want to change the color. Come over to your properties panel and simply just pick a new color for those objects. Um, the buttons, you'll notice that there's the normal, down, and over state. You can modify all those states, change the grading if you want, change the color, add a stroke if you'd like. So you have full control to, to change all those different colors, um, change the text size, you can choose different fonts, um, the color of the font, um, so you have full control to change really every element you have. If you have different themes and different styles that you created for your course, you can apply those to those shapes also. I hope this has been helpful for you and helped uh, help you understand how to use our Adobe Captivate scenario templates. Um, thank you for listening and happy e-learning.